Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. Nugget's having a drink. You okay? Good boy. Thirsty, huh? Here, take it. Take a break for a sec. Yeah, cough it out. Hello, Savannah. Hi, Kristen. Hi, everybody. Sorry, Nugget's having a little cough. I think he inhaled some water. Did you want more? There you go, buddy. Hi, Emily. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Princess Turtle. Hi, Anna. Hi, Katie. We got a Nugget today. Hi, Shelby. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Mackenzie. Hi, everybody. Hi, Kels. Hi, Stormy. How's everybody doing? All right, are you, you're good on water? You want any more? You're good. You're good. Sounds good. Hi, Telegraph. Hi, Kelly and Tokyo and Alex and Analytical and Stace and Angel and Heather and Denise. Hi, Denise. Thank you. And Help and Butterfly and Jacob and Kevin and OG and CS and enjoy my life and Casey and number and no and Kylie Lay Charles what's up Charles hello Danielle Bianca Ava Tara look y'all isn't it, aren't we in just like a beautiful place right now isn't this like I almost wanted to do a different angle here let me show you hi everyone hi monkey hi Dara hi Abrian there was this other angle before that was like almost more pretty because it's just like this it's less it's less like centered but isn't that like such a pretty angle we can keep it like this if you want i don't know what do you think hi baby girl hi d96 hi taylor hi harlow hi eric hi everybody isn't it a good view we should should we keep it like this hi violet hi kai i know it looks like a green screen hi mama hi leah hi kelly Hi, Casey. Wait, we'll keep it like this? Okay. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Ka Caitlin? Natlin, maybe? Thank you, Nick. Hi, Megan and Momo. We like this view. Okay, good. We'll keep the view. That's good. Hi, Daisy. How's everybody doing today? It's giving Paris vibes, I know. It's very green. I feel like I'm in like an urban forest right now. Hi, Foltzy. Hello, everybody. Oh, thank you, Velma. Hi, Wisp, Ethne, Joe. All right, so I have some food. This is a warm up to the full meal, which we are going to do in a second. This is from La Guerrera's Kitchen. I don't know. It's a <laughs> Nugget's very excited. It's a oh, also, I want to unmirror my screen. So today we're going unmirrored. There we go. So we can read my shirt. It's a good shirt. Um, Nugget, you got to be behaved here, but I'll give you some. This is a pumpkin cookie of some kind? I don't know. I had a ton of french fries yesterday. Nice. I love french fries. Hi, Katarina. Hi, Sheesh. All right, here we go. So this is, there's pumpkin inside of this. I get the feeling that this cookie was fantastic at one point but there's no way this was cooked anything less than like two days ago. Don't worry. Don't worry. There's nowhere to send it back. <laughs> there's nowhere to send it back. It's already paid for. I'm not going to send it back. There's nowhere to send it back. It's I. I can tell it's like well cooked, but it's just a little stale. Hi, Foltzy. Hi, everybody. So how's everybody doing? It's like pumpkin mush. Kind of like a thicker pumpkin pie on the inside. Hi, everyone. Hi, Evie. What's up? You look familiar. You've been here before, right? Not crazy. Hi, Melissa. I'm good. I'm in a surprisingly good mood today. Not that I didn't think I would, but I was telling Ollie last night, I had a stress dream that everyone in the world really disliked me and was had like how do i say this wanted to harm me um in a big way 
uh, and that I was running from them. And then Lupita Nyong'o, the actor, who's fantastic, was like a zombie preacher, sort of, and she attacked me. And then I woke up and screamed myself awake. Um, and that was 4.30 in the morning. Uh, and I didn't go back to sleep after that. So you'd think for someone who got, I, I don't know, I went to bed at like 10, 9 or 10. So it wasn't that bad. Oh, nugget. Okay, bud. You can have. You'd think. Anyways. Um, but yeah, so I've been up for a second. Congrats on 300K. Thank you. Thank you very much. I did get th hit 300K today. I'm very, I'm very grateful to all of you. It's been some crazy, what, nine months, 10 months? Nugget. I'm going to give you more. Nugget's like over here eating. Is it a green screen? It looks like a green screen, doesn't it? Here you go, bud. What do we think? Do you think it's a green screen? Bestie and I are driving to SF for a concert tonight. Nice. What, what concert? It might be a green screen. It might just be reality. I think Miranda thinks it's a green screen. I mean, we can, we can take a poll if y'all think, and then I'll reveal because we're still going to lunch. What's for dinner tonight, Malika? Great question. Uh, we are going to go to a pizza place today. 100% a green screen. Okay. Hey, look. If it's 100% a green screen, then there's, I have nothing, I can't, I can't disprove you. It's 100% a green screen. And in like six, seven or eight minutes, we're going to stand up from here and um, we're going to either walk through the green screen or uh, walk into, you know, that part of the street. Heather says it's not a green screen. Okay, here's, here's a better question. Have I ever used a green screen? I've never used a green screen. I have no idea how to use a green screen. I guess there's the TikTok effect. But usually with the TikTok effect, it's not quite as realistic. Usually can't hear the cars going by. You know what I'm saying? Mel knows it's not a green screen. There we go. Hi, Anna. I'm pretty good today. All things considered, I'm, I'm honestly pretty good today. We're going to go get some pizza, some Detroit style pizza today. Um, some Brussels sprouts, probably. We're going to order a bunch of food and then I'm going to see Katie. Uh, yes, pizza, Detroit style pizza. And uh, this is a place we've been before. So we know it's good. They know we're coming. They're very nice people. Um, so I'm excited. They also have a new Buffalo chicken pizza, which I'm excited about. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Hello. I'm good. Honestly, good today. Um, shout out, are Ollie and or Mac here, by the way? Because once again, talking to them just makes my days a whole lot happier. I don't, I, I, they're just great friends. So we were talking for like an hour or two today, just randomly going about our days, chatting about life. So I'm in a good mood. Honestly, that's a big part of it. Um, I'm going to see Katie later. Can't complain. Um, ooh. Oh, it's Joey. What's up, Joey? Hi, Joey. Hello. Welcome back. Joey's a friend of the stream. Never spoken to Joey one-on-one -on -one directly, but we like Joey. Joey's a friend. Um, okay, Ollie is here. I see him muting in the stream. Oh, also, check this out. Today, ooh, choo-choo train. I brought, um, thank you, Joey. I brought my extra noise canceling headphones just in case today, just in case. So I'm not gonna wear them yet, but just in case we need them, there is uh, a lot more noise canceling. I have the, the earbuds in here and we can put these on top. They are fancy, I know. I don't use them as much as I should. They're probably some of the best you can get. Um, and I don't use them very often. I never thought to bring them on stream, um, but here I am. Yes, my parents are very proud. My parents are awesome. I didn't talk to them today, but I talked to them yesterday. Talked to my dad mostly yesterday. He's great. Thank you, Megan. Anyways, I was saying 
about uh, talking to Mac and Ollie on the phone, my, my two friends and head mods, uh, always makes today's a little bit happier. Um, I know, Mel, isn't it gorgeous? Wouldn't it be crazy if it was a green screen? It's not. But wouldn't it be crazy if it was? Um, anyways. Yeah. So. What's my favorite food? Uh, what is my favorite food? I'll give you some of my favorite foods. Um, I love pizza. I love french fries. This, this is just like, it's, I mean, who doesn't like pizza and french fries and ice cream? Indian food. I love Indian food. I love Thai food. Vietnamese. Chinese. Japanese. I like a lot of food. Um, but today is pizza day. And I was thinking that they also have this monkey bread at the pizza place. I'm not sure if we... We'll see. We'll see how we're feeling. We don't need to order it just yet. We're not even there yet. I'm thinking like 10 steps ahead. But you know what I'm saying? Like there is, there's monkey bread at this place. And they use the pizza dough. And I've had it before and it's very good. It's just way too much. And it's one of those things that's only good if you eat it when it's fresh. Like it's, as far as I know, it's not a very good reheating thing. You know what I'm saying? Anyways. Um, yeah. You good, Mr. Nug? If anyone has any questions, I haven't gotten seen any questions lately. I wonder, I mean, can Ahmad go through and look at the keywords and maybe thin it out a little bit? Because I feel like I haven't seen many questions lately. Um, and I see a lot of keywords getting added, so maybe. Um, I know my mods are busy anyways. There it is. Chell's going through, tearing through. Am I going to change my voice? No, I'm not going to change my voice. Not anytime soon. Um, I'm, I don't know. I've been a little bit more open to it lately. Uh, not surgery. You can get voice surgery, but I don't want that. I would train my voice, but not anytime soon. I did. Oh, you know what? I have a good thing to tell you about. I totally forgot. Um, am I going to New York for Thanksgiving? No, no, no. Um, I'm going to stay here or maybe go with Katie on like a getaway. We're going to talk about that tonight. We might go to like a cabin. Let me find. Yes. Isn't Nugget the cutest? Um, today I had uh, my first consultation with my bottom surgery surgeon. How have I not brought this up yet? Getaway trip, I know. Um, I talked to my guy. Um, and he, so, so basically, there's two main kinds of ways to do the bottom surgery. There is taking the, do I have props today? Not really. Taking the cake pop stick and turning it inside out and putting it on the inside, that's version number one. And then um, the other version is pulling things from the inside down. So it's like using things that are already inside to make the inside and just kind of sw pulling them through. Um, he suggested that maybe we do, I always thought it would be the second one that I'd want more, uh, but he kind of convinced me that I might want to try the cake pop inversion method to start. Um, which is the more time tested method. If something goes wrong, which is not pop, not like it's possible, but it's not like super likely. But if it did, there would be more things we could do to fix things. Um, oh, interesting. When we talk about bottom surgery, a lot of people leave. Ooh, are we grossing the trolls out? I think we might be. How long have I been on estrogen? How often do you take it? Very good. Very good question. Um, I have been on estrogen since May 4th, 2021, and I do injections once a, once a week. That is um, uh, estrogen. I also take progesterone. Um, what's monkey bread? Monkey bread is, oh yeah, when we talk about bottom surgery, the trolls, the trolls leak. That's good to know. We'll talk more about it. Um, 
Yeah, so the inversion method where we take the cake pop stick and turn it inside out as opposed to like just discarding it and using other things. Um, it's, it's probably a better first step. And it's a more time tested one. Dilation is definitely, y'all know about dilation? Yeah, don't block letters if possible. Okay, that's what I thought, that maybe letters were blocked. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited. Like the prospect of going from cake pop stick to donut is just like, is so awesome. Um, it makes me very happy to think about. It makes me very happy to think about. Do I find estrogen has changed my voice? Estrogen doesn't change your voice. Uh, that's not, uh, it's like uh, when, you're, when we all go through puberty, uh, like for me, I went through testosterone puberty, unfortunately, and my voice dropped. Uh, people who go through estrogen puberty, their voice doesn't drop as much. But um, when you take, te like on puberty 2.0, which is what I'm doing right now with estrogen, it doesn't bring your voice back up. Um, so I hope that helps. So uh, no, no amount of estrogen that I take will change my voice. Thank you, Megan. Thank you. Uh, would you still feel like yourself if you change your voice? Um, yeah, probably, probably. I mean, I like my voice, but also I wonder like if I were to snap my fingers and go from a voice that I have now to a more feminine or higher voice, like would I snap my fingers? And I would, because there's, it takes a while to train your voice. It's a lot of practice. You really have to commit to it. Um, it's not like the hardest thing you'll ever do. You just got to work at it. But I don't know if I would. I don't know if I would. Anyways. Um, what does estrogen do to your body? Uh, it grows these, which is very nice. Uh, oh, it's 2 p.m. Let's go get some food. It makes your skin softer. Um, what else does it do? It makes me more in touch with my emotions. Um, what else does estrogen do, Nugget? Skin. Oh, it definitely changes sensation, if you know what I'm saying. All right. How much longer do I have of hair removal? A while. Hi, Liz. Do I regret not going through estrogen puberty? Regret is not the right word because I didn't know that I wanted to go through estrogen puberty at the time. Do I wish I had? In some ways. In some ways, I wish I had. Um, but also, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to think about that kind of thing. and Because I'm, I'm happy with who I am now and how things have... Hi, Bex. See, not a green screen. See, not a green screen. I know, right? Not a green screen. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I forgot we're no longer the same time. Arizona. Oh, Arizona doesn't change clocks. I did not realize that. Hi, Marla. Hi, Maria. So anyways, yeah, I don't know if I'll change my voice. Maybe eventually. Maybe I'll give it. A, I don't know. There are certain things I thought I never would want to change, but then I change it. Blah, 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 blah. I am close with my parents, yes. What state do I live in? We're in California. California. All right, in we go. Hi. Good, how are you? Oh, thank you very much. I'm very excited. Um, huh? Thank you. Did I change my hair? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think if I changed it since I was last here. Probably. Thanks. Um, I'll meet you back here. Cool. And bring your menu. What's your name? Cameo. One more time. Cameo, like an appearance. Let me take out my ear, my earplugs, and one more time. Cameo, like an appearance. Cameo, like an appearance. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Well, good to meet you. All right. Sounds good. All right. Red is my color. Thank you. Thank you, Janice. What do I do for my curl routine? Um, I put in Paul Mitchell tea tree leave-in conditioner, and then I comb. Then I squeeze a little bit out, like excess moisture, and then I put in um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Miss Jessie's curl put. Thank you so much for having us. This is Nugget. Yep. Right. Oh, y'all know me too well. Would it be possible to turn the music off? Off? Yeah, I got it. 
Thank you so much. Hey. All right. Sorry, I, I, I don't I, I personally don't mind. <laughs> you might be on camera though. All right. Let's. We're gonna get the music off in just a second. Do I have naturally curly hair? I do have naturally curly hair. By the way, this is the fit today. Do I ever want to have kids? Eh, not really. Not particularly. I'm not like uh, set on having kids or anything. It's not really a thing that I'm like particularly passionate about. And also the thing about kids is you really got to want them. And if you don't really want them, then you, pro you might not be happy. Uh, so many people just do it because it's the thing to do. And um, I just don't think it is. Do I want to get married? I'm down to get married at some point. I'm not opposed to marriage, but uh, it would, it had to be to the right person and in the context of polyamory. Kids really are a lot. Yeah, kids are a lot. I, I used to work in childcare. I used to work in childcare and it was like, it was, it was, I was good at it. I used to be in charge of like a whole community, like an after school thing. And it was fine, but it was very stressful. And I learned what it was to be a parent, sort of. Or like, I understand like what that kind of comes with. And it just wasn't something I wanted. Um, looks like a green screen. Yeah, I know. Pretty picturesque, huh? Um, would I ever consider face reconstruction? Ah, facial feminization surgery? kids are a hang i feel like people should normalize not having children i know has katie decided if she's moving the person i'm dating uh no she has not decided i'm going to see her right after this though how long have i been poly uh just a couple years what draws me to polyamory i mean i have a lot of love to give um i like the idea of getting different things from different relationships and polyamory kind of fits with that. It tends to do that. <gasps> Water for nugget. Oh, thank you so much. Or if you, maybe you just put it right here. Thank you so much. Is it cool if I have him in my lap? Oh, perfect, thanks. Hi. If nugget falls asleep, where will he go? He will go into his stroller, which is right there. My skincare routine, um, I just moisturize. Can someone explain poly like ethical non-monogamy? Similar, yeah. So ethical non-monogamy is like a bigger category of not monogamy, but um, polyamory just means having multiple meaningful relationships with different people. So like, um, I've like, you can be dating Katie for a decade and we're having, you know, we're, long-term committed emotional physical all that stuff and at the same time also be dating lauren for 12 years and we're the same it's just different relationships everyone knows about each other that kind of thing um it's not glitchy good do i eat out every day i eat out a lot i do eat out a lot uh have i ever met dylan mulvaney i have not met dylan mulvaney i believe she I actually don't know this for sure, but my guess is that she lives in LA. Um, and I do not, I've never been to LA. Uh, would I ever get lip filler? Nah, I wouldn't want that. No, no shade to who people who do, but it's not interesting to me. Um, I always thought I'd be Polly, but I ended up with a golden retriever, vanilla gamer boy. That's the pitfall. I hear about that a lot. And you know, it happens. It happens. Um, no, no Botox. I'm not really interested in Botox or lip filler. Again, no shade to the people that get those things. But I, uh, oh, thank you, Valerie. Um, yeah. uh, do all relationships need to be physical? No, not at all. Um, I would need them to be because I enjoy that aspect of a relationship a lot. But being an asexual person is very valid and not everyone wants that kind of connection, period. 
Uh, and sometimes people might have relationships that are just emotional. Maybe there's not a physical connection and that's okay. Um, but I can't imagine being with someone and not having a physical connection. Hi, Coco. Um, yes, this is my dog nugget. <laughs> uh thank you my natural hair color is brown uh but i have dyed it red actually i'm gonna kind of fluff it out a little bit here am i in a relationship now hi kira um i don't know if i some somewhere in between situationship and relationship i think if katie decides not to move uh which is something that's kind of up in the air right now that's when um that's when we would do it i agree valerie I have no idea. I, I guess. Wow, that is fancy. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, really quick. Uh -huh. So they would like to treat you to a buffalo chicken pie. Ooh. Is there any one? I love Brussels that. Brussels sprouts, which yes. I love. Okay. Okay. But if there's anything else that you would like to order. Right, Happy to pay for anything else is no problem. So I'll get those done for you okay. and then Okay, and um, if you wouldn't mind bringing them out, like in a, we, we, we I've got till like five, okay. so we can definitely take it slow. Okay, so how For sure. I just fire the Brussels sprouts? Though? Perfect. And uh, do you happen to have limes, lemon or lime? All good. Water's fine. Oh, could I have um, the uh, main lemon lime? Yeah, okay. Thank you. All right, y'all. Look at this. They literally brought me the fanciest water ever. Look how big this water is. Look at this. We have an ice tray. Ice. Ice. Nugget is back. Thank you, Valerie. I know. Never seen a whole tray before, but today's the day. Nugget's licking the licking the, the water. But don't worry, Nugget's got water. You want some water, bud? Want some water? Water? There you go. Uh, yes, we're at a restaurant. We're at a pizza place. I think maybe now would, what do we think? Mods is now the time to put on the sub only. A lot of nastiness, and that's not the vibe for today. I like some good vibes. I like some good vibes. How about we do some good vibes? Do some good vibes. Sorry, I know. We'll wait for the viewership to go down a little bit, and then we'll turn it off. I promise. Um, okay. Nugget, I'm going to put Nugget in his stroller really quick, especially because there's no food uh, for him to be very jealous about. So... Good vibes only. All right, I'm going to move this tray. And, boom. Perfect. That's totally fine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, for those of you who are about to ask, this is non-alcoholic. It's just like a fancy lemonade. Um, so because we're good friends with the people here. Um, and I'll say the name at the end. Uh, they have provided us with um, a... Uh, they're going to bring us crispy Brussels sprouts with a cilantro lime crema. They're going to bring us a buffalo chicken pizza, which is a collaboration with Kind of Funny Games, with, which has buffalo, Parmesan, par, buffalo parm sauce, creamy dip, red hot chicken, tangy buffalo ranch and green onions. Very exciting. Um, also, they're going to bring us monkey bread, which is pizza dunked in butter and brown sugar. Pizza dough dunked in brown butter, no, butter and brown sugar topped with diced apples, caramel, seasoned ricotta, and a sprinkle of Maldon salt. Um, so the good news is if you um, donate to the stream today, It'll first cover like the, we'll probably get fries, we're going to get a drink or two and maybe something else, we'll see. But beyond that, everything will go to like paying rent, electricity, bills, all that stuff. 
Um, so there we go. Keywords should be good, says Ollie. Sounds good. Thank you, Ollie. Okay. Wait. Is my watch? Oh, there it is. Ugh, I love my mods. Just subbed. Oh, thank you, Pansy. Thank you for subbing. You are so very sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you should be able to join the Discord, too. Since I have you for a moment and we're waiting... Here, I'll talk about bottom surgery more and the, the, the trolls will leave, but... Um, we're having our first ever trivia night in the Discord, uh, which I'm very excited about. Ollie, who's one of our head moderators, uh, his wife uh, is a trivia... What's the word? Trivia... A seasoned trivia person who is going to run us through a night of trivia. Host. Yeah, a seasoned trivia host. There you go, Valerie. So... Uh, if you are in the Discord, or if you're subscribed on TikTok and can join the Discord, or on Patreon, of course, um, maybe even, you can. Maybe we should have a channel that like allows people to find teams, or maybe we should do a more official way. Maybe people just sign up and we randomize it. I don't know. I'm open to whatever y'all think, Ollie. Because I also I don't want to be exclusionary if someone doesn't want to have to ask. Maybe we should just have people sign up and randomize it, or randomize it on the night. I don't know. Thank you for subscribing, Kristen. Or Kirsten, excuse me. Thank you. Ollie's going to do a Google Sheet. Sounds good. Um, okay, so we definitely want French fries. They have buffalo wings. I kind of want to try the buffalo wings. What do we think? Thank you, Krista. I've never tried... We, last time we had the Szechuan wings, which were pretty good. But we haven't tried the buffalo wings. What earrings am I wearing today? Yes, the... These are, ugh. have you ever had the thing happen where like, this ear is always fine, but this ear I have to like push through and like it pops out. It's very painful. I don't know what happened with this ear. I, maybe I need to get it re-pierced or something. My time zone is far off. I'm in Lithuania. Oh, wow. What time zone is Lithuania in? I have no idea. Also, someone sent a very nice gift on, I believe, PayPal? Let me take a look. Yep, PayPal. It's loading. Let's turn off the Wi-Fi. Aw, Kirsten. Aw, that is so sweet. This Honestly, this message is very sweet, especially in light of all the nastiness. Look at it. Fine. my lap. There's a lot of nastiness today, and somehow I'm still in a good mood, but... This is very helpful. Thank you, Kirsten. Kirsten sent $25 on PayPal, which is a lot of money, um, and said, they're a silent... Oh, don't zoom in. Unzoom. They said, silent watcher here, and I want to say thank you for providing content that will help me to be a better ally to everyone. Ignore the haters. You are a beautiful person with so much to share and give. Thank you. Heart, heart, heart. Heart, heart, heart. All red. Red hearts. Thank you. Thank you, Kirsten. I'm, a, I'm, I'm not sure if the same Kirsten... I'm not silent anymore. Yes, I saw you subscribed. Hi, Kirsten. Thank you very much. That is so sweet of you. You will not be the first... If you, do, if you do end up joining the Discord, you will not be the first Kirsten. You will be one of two Kirstens. We have... And, and we would love to have you as our second Kirsten. Um, even though I guess that... Yeah, all Kirstens are equal. There's no first and second Kirsten. You're just Kirsten. Usually the only one. I believe our Kirsten is... I could be wrong. I want to say they're from Scotland. That could be Kira, too. I forget. Um, is there still a waiting list for the Discord? No. Uh, if you are subscribed on TikTok, you can now join the Discord, period. Um, you can do it by like going to the benefits section of your subscription, and you can just join the server. Uh, you do have to agree to some rules first, um, but you should be able to see everything now. Hmm. Y'all, I'm so happy. Turning the cake pop stick into a donut. Sweet, Rachel. Like, just the ability to be able to wear, like, body suits and look in the mirror and see what I know, I who I know I am in the mirror and, like, the truest sense of the word of, like, not this thing that is just, like, ugh. Like, ugh. You know? I'm... It's just gonna be. I, I'm just so excited to have the to have that as 
just a possibility in modern medicine. It's going to be great. I'm going to wear body suits. I'm going to wear jumpsuits. I'm going to wear bathing suits. And it's just going to, there's not going to be anything there other than just normal, you know, right now there is, there won't be. Yes. Right, Nugget's about to go crazy. Thank you so much. Ooh, those look good. Oh, I did not know. Thank you. Perfect. I'll check on you and see if you want me to know. Okay. Thank you. Uh, do I have, I can't wait to see the fits. It's going to be amazing. I know. Uh, do I have a date for my bottom surgery? No, no. So the, the timeline right now, this, these are fried Brussels sprouts, by the way. Nugget is like chomping at the bit. Um, here, I'll show you. Look at this sunlight. It's like shining down on it. These are fried, deep fried Brussels sprouts tossed in, I believe, Szechuan seasoning. And this is a cilantro lime crema. So very exciting. But uh, yeah, in terms of the date, no date yet, because at the end of the day, I need to get all the hair removed from down there, like permanently via electrolysis. So the only way to, to start the surgery is to have that done. And there's no like, we can guess when it's going to be probably another six to 12 months is my guess. But once that's done, it's all good. Like we can just do it. Um, so once the surgery has been completed, it's just a one day, one shot thing. They do the surgery. It's like eight hours or something. Um, then I'm like in recovery for a long time. Um, I will be like, zonked out for at least a couple days um you know i'll be i think I, I think you stay in the hospital for two days afterwards uh and then you go home and then you're in bed for like a month am i nervous for it um i'm nervous yeah totally nervous but um in like a good way like it's an exciting of course nervous that thing something could happen that's bad but so many there's so many more instances of like non surgeries that don't have complications yeah, it's rough, but so worth it. Yeah. Have I met Jazz? Yes, I can see you, Maria. I've not met Jazz Jennings or Dylan Mulvaney. Um, but yeah, like uh, specifically the uh, Katie, who I'm dating, she told me once that she's had the bottom surgery done. And she said that if she woke up one day and all the bottom surgery was undone and she was back to, you know, original parts, uh, that she would, without a doubt, go through it all over again because it's just that worth it for her. Non-alcoholic, by the way, it's lemonade. It's a uh, lemon lime soda. It's actually quite good. It's just like a fancy Sprite. Um, it's good. So anyways, that is, uh, so my guess is that, what's today? November 7th, 8th, maybe one of those. Uh, by this time next year, well, we'll probably have a date by way sooner than a year from now. We'll probably have a date early next year is my guess. As long as everything goes to plan, I'm just, I, I bet we'll have like a, my guess is that it will be next fall. And then, so, so like fall 2024 is November 8th. Okay, thank you, Mandy. It will probably be around then is my guess. And then I will be, you know, through the holidays of 2024, really recovering but by early 2025 i will be on my feet and like doing normal things there's not really just because he takes a full year to 100 percent recover doesn't mean you can't like live normally after the first month or two my daughter's been on hormone blockers for 10 years and estradiol for six and her voice is like mine uh did she train maria because um and i mean unless oh Oh, how, how old is your daughter? Because if your daughter never went through testosterone puberty, that is that totally makes sense. Thank you, Mandy. I'm excited for me too. Um, yeah, like in theory, if I never, if I had been on hormone blockers early enough, uh, which kids should, she's 18. Oh, well, if she's 18 and she's been on hormone blockers for 10, then that makes sense. Um, she, she never had that, that voice drop. 
um, which is really what all kids should have the, the luxury to do, which is if your puberty is happening in, happening in a way that is not affirming to you, uh, to nudge it in a direction where it is affirming to you. Because puberty does, if it's happening in the wrong direction, like it happened to me, puberty does a lot of damage to your body. Um, voice, for example. Hair, for example. I shave every day. If I'd been on hormone blockers at 10, um, I wouldn't have a hairy face. I wouldn't be six feet tall. I would not have size 13 feet. I would not have such broad shoulders. But again, I'm not like, oh my God, if I could only turn back time. I'm so happy with who I am and how I look today, but no one should have to go through that um, if they have the knowledge at that point in their life. Do you have size 13 feet? Well, it happens. It's unfortunate because no one makes shoes for size 13. Sometimes hormones betray you even when you're happy in the skin you're in. Exactly. Well done. Well said. Oh, thank you, Kirsten. You know, I didn't always have the confidence, but maybe to a certain point. I, I like the way I look. Um, and life happened the way it happened, and there's only so much you can do. All right. I'm kind of feeling like I want to turn the comments back on. Um, you want to ask, what is that? These are fried Brussels sprouts. They're good, as you can see. They're like crispy, deep fried Brussels sprouts, and I'm dipping them in avocado. Cilantro lime crema? Mm hmm. It's good. Her skin is flawless until starting college. I mean, she started college and then her skin was not flawless. College can do that to you. Stress. Not eating as well. It can do that to you. I had a lot of acne growing up. I had acne like through high school. My brother had it worse, but I had a lot of acne. I thought they are very nice. Mm. They're really good. They're really good. Nope, 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 nope. Napkins. Don't fly away, napkins. Hold on, Doug. Oh, That is so sweet. My acne was so bad as a teen. I feel that, Yoda. Yeah, I don't know. I had... Did you take Accutane? I hear... I was on that for... I was on minocycline for a while. I think it helped. I definitely have acne scars, but... I think my brother will probably have worse. He had a lot of acne. We had a very nice gift from Emily. Emily H. Aw. That was so sweet, Emily. Um, Emily sent $5. Thank you so much, Emily. I know we probably can't talk right now because of the subscription thing, but um, I know you can hear me. I'm going to put you back for a little bit, Nugget. Um, and they said, I want to say thank you for normalizing eating what you actually want and enjoying the food. You help give me courage to eat in public, which is something I struggle with. You have a bigger impact to me. To, you have a bigger impact to more communities than I think you realize. And I can't express enough gratitude for you. To Emily. I am honored to be here eating with you. You know. Yeah, it's, it's kind of wild sometimes where the intent of this stream was never to... I never like walk into the stream and was like, today we're going to normalize eating. Um, but yeah, here we are. Um, and I'm honored, I'm honored to be that for you. Thank you, Emily. All right. Numbers have dropped a little bit. Let's see if we can turn this back on. Sorry to all the people who have been waiting. Hello. I was blown through these Brussels sprouts, y'all. It was so good. So good. Due, my, due to my PCOS, how to be put on birth control at 10. Oh, wow. Wow. 
Nice job. Thank you, Ksenia. And thank you, Lauren. Um, this shirt, Lauren, is... Um, Y'all know who Finster is? Y'all familiar with Finster? Finster is another streamer. He does... He's on Twitch, mostly. Um, he's... Technically uses he him pronouns, but presents very feminine. Anyways, he has a girlfriend named Ashley who um, made these shirts, and I bought one. And um, that's what the shirt is. Finster's great. Finster is like a gender non conforming person that is doing important things as well. Thank you, Amy. Also, we just got another gift. Oh, oh my. Okay, Tristan. Well, first off, thank you, Tristan. Tristan sent $2. Um, she, her. Thank you for including her pronouns, by the way. I try to use they, them, unless I know. But um, Tristan said, sorry, it's not a lot. Even $2 is so helpful. Thank you. Had a weird guy touch me at work today. And your live is helping me relax and have a better day. Red heart, Tristan, she, her. Wow. F that guy. Dang. Hi, Jessica Seneca. Wow, that is awful. I am so sorry that that happened to you. Jeez. Send them to me. I'll set them straight. Jeez. The audacity. Yes. I think you could probably fire the pizza. Okay. Thank you. Anyways, I am so sorry. and I'm, But I am glad that uh, these streams are, streams are bringing you comfort. Oh, hey. I know you could be here. Hi, Tennis Now Fiber saying. Hi. You want to say hi to the stream? Yeah. Oh, hello, stream. Hi, I'm Mark. I'm Mark, what? Hi, guys. Big fan of knowledge. Can you tell them who you are to Square Pie Guys? I'm the owner. I'm, I'm the Square Pie Guys. <laughs> he is the Square Pie Guy. Yeah, one of them. One of them. Yeah. They say, oh, he's cute. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Mark. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Mark. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, have you been, you've been affected by the hi, Mark joke, haven't uh, you? From uh, the, the room? room? Yeah. Yeah, you know, some of my, my more, like, dad joke friends hit me with that a lot, for sure. Yeah. yeah. It's, I like it. I enjoy it. I enjoy getting a, a nice little, oh, hi, Mark. It's, it's good. Yeah. It, Actually, it was... I used to, when I first moved here, I used to work down on North Beach. Mm -hmm. And do you know that, about the, like, that's where his office was really and if you go down on uh i guess it's off columbus mm -hmm. by the casa hotel okay there's a pizza zone there there's a big building yeah and there's a gigantic like literally a gigantic denim jeans thing and it has a big poster of the room tommy oh. wiseau it's still there i did not know yeah, that you that's go, a, it's oh, really okay. funny actually i've yeah. been i'm in north beach all the time so yeah, i'll have to look, look it's up. um I don't know where, uh, like, the baked bear ice cream sandwich thing is. I'm familiar. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm it's, familiar. It's, like, worth seeing. If, if anyone is a fan of The Room, because those are some, like, cult fanatics of that movie. It's been a while, it's but, a yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. Wow. Awesome. awesome. How, are you in North Beach at all lately? Yeah, because we have Ghirardelli Square down there, obviously. So I'm there. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have something for you. Oh. What do you got? Here. Take a couple of these. These are free ice creams. Oh, thank you very much. Lush Gelato, if oh, you've ever been. Cool. It's right next to the Red Door. I the need to go there. best gelato oh, yeah, yeah. Probably, in uh, the world. Columbus. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. They're they're good people there. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for saying hi. It's good to see Enjoy. you. Enjoy. Bye, stream. <laughs> right. Everyone say bye to Mark. Have a good one. Oh, my God. The, the last comment I want to say. There is apparently a lot of Mark thirst happening right now in this chat. I just got engaged. I'm sorry. He got engaged, everyone. Uh -huh. Off the market. Congratulations. <laughs> Mark Thirst. I, I I was too busy talking. I couldn't engage with the mar the Mark Thirst. I am I am sober. I am sober. This is zero percent. This is zero percent. Just just lemonade. We love Mark Thirst. We love Mark Thirst. Um, a couple of very nice gifts came through, but what, before before I read them, it seems like there's a question about. Um, and by the way, Square Pie guys, this is where we are. If I haven't said it yet, um, we're at Square Pie guys. It's some of my favorite pizza ever. Definitely in the Bay Area. Yeah. There's several locations, but um, very good. Can I explain neo pronouns? Yeah. 
I can explain neo pronouns. Um, so there's like three quote unquote standard pronouns, right? She, her, and they, All right? You can say she went to the store, he went to the store, they went to the store, etc. cetera. Uh, some people don't particularly jive with any of those pronouns um, and will use other pronouns. And historically, it's not always been she, her, and they, even in English. Um, there's a history of pronouns that we've used over time that aren't just those, and they, they kind of go in and out of fashion over time. Um, in the same way that um, hello wasn't really a word, I might be getting that right, hello wasn't even really a word until the phone was invented, because people wanted weren't sure what to say when you were picking up the phone. And it was either going to be a hello or a hoy hoy, I think. And hello one. Anyways, the point is that neo pronouns are, work the same as normal pronouns. They just um, like thou, right? Thou is a pronoun. We just don't use it anymore, right? But um, some people don't like he or she or they, and they want to use different pronouns. So like zer or things like that. I don't know anyone who uses neo pronouns, um, at least very well. Um, so I'm not like good at using them, but, um, yeah, they're valid. I think one thing to keep in mind is that like neo pronouns are often used against, uh, against trans people as like a ridiculous thing that we're asking for, but important to note, not many people use neo pronouns to begin with, le or at least less than you'd think. Right? It's not like all trans people use neo pronouns. The majority that I've met don't. Um, and like, also that pronouns are have not always been this way, and they will change over time too. In a thousand years, if we still exist as a human race, chances are we won't be using she or he or they. It'll be something else. Um, am I planning on doing vocal training? I think more and more about it every day, <laughs> but I don't have any plans currently. We'll see. We'll see. Um, we'll see. Maybe. I mean, like, it's one of those, like, things that shifts. Every time I get that question, I'm like, I consider it again. Like, you know, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't just, like, like, I would give you ample notice. Nice to see you, too. Oh, gifts. Sorry. Okay, the last one we read was Tristan. Thank you again, Tristan. Kathy, oh, okay, a little, Kathy, are you here? Can mods look out for, for Kathy? It's fine, if we, even if we miss her. Wow, so, a little hint for tomorrow. I'll read the gift and the amount in just a second. But tomorrow, there you are, Kathy Crawford Sit Sitnik. Um, tomorrow, Kathy and I are going to be on stream together. Kathy, of course, is the co-owner of Epic Steak and Water Bar and other restaurants. But we're going to be there tomorrow having food together on stream. So if you're excited about Epic Steak, which you should be, you should also be excited about meeting Kathy. Because she was briefly on the stream. I, I, again, I'm going to read this in a second and all the other gifts as well. But the way I met Kathy was kind of, was very serendipitous, where... I went to Epic Steak for the first time. Incredible restaurant, incredible experience. Kathy happened to be watching the stream. She's the co-owner of this restaurant. And so she told her husband, the other owner, go say hi to Lily. And so he did. And I was like, oh my God, hi, hello. He's like, my wife's a fan. I'm like, oh, so nice. Where's your wife? Where's Kathy? And Kathy came over. She, I think she like came from her house to say hi on the stream, but she was only on for like a minute or two. Um, but yeah, so she's coming back. Uh, and she's going to be on, I think for probably n not the whole stream. I don't know, maybe half. I don't know exactly. I know she has like other stuff to do. Um, so we'll spend the first part of the stream with her and then go from there. But, um, very excited. Anyways, Kathy sent $50. That is a lot of money. Thank you so much, Kathy. And said, looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow too, Kathy. Thank you so much. Just around 40 minutes. There we go. So like one hour long TV show episode without ads. Pretty much. Ep yeah, so Epic Steak, 
incredible restaurant. Um, one of those places that like walks the line of being a good place for locals and tourists. Um, I'm a local and I love it. Thank you, Hannah. Anyways, everyone say thank you to Kathy. $50 is a lot of money. Um, Kathy is awesome. She's a sweetie. She's the one who helped us get a table because it's her restaurant at Water Bar last time we were there. Um, thank you. Mm. See you tomorrow, 5 p.m. Okay. Um, also, Jasmine. Oh, hi, Jasmine. Jasmine R. sent $5. Thank you so much. And said, you have such a beautiful 90s look. Pretty girl, white heart emoji. Thank you, Jasmine. That is so sweet. Um, I'll finish saying thank you there. What time do I normally get on? I keep showing up late. I'm sorry. Um, you should be able to set notifications, but sometimes TikTok doesn't like to send notifications. So um, the, it, it changes every day. The only thing I can tell you for sure is that if you join the Discord, um, I always put a notice when I'm going to be live. So like today, I you know was on the Discord like, hey, I'll be on at you know, 1.30 or 2, um, that kind of thing. So anyways, thank you again, Jasmine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Mandy, oh, Mandy. Oh, <sighs> okay. So Mandy sent $5. Thank you so much, Mandy. Uh, and says, my beautiful friend, this $5 is an incentive to a possible Discord family friends giving. Even if it's virtual, I'd love to be able to share this special day with everyone. Um, everyone I love. Love you, Lilykins. Flower bouquet emoji. Turkey emoji. Pie emoji. Thank you so much. Um, I'm totally down for it. Um, I mean, I'm looking for a hair tie, by the way. Oh, I know what I can use. It's this thing. Um, maybe, because I don't know if I'm streaming on on Thanksgiving or not. It'll depend on what my plans are. I'm not opposed to it, but I have a feeling I'm going to be doing something with... So maybe we can have like an open chat or something for anyone who wants company during Thanksgiving. They can just kind of have like a... Like everyone knows that if they want to, to hang out in the, the, the Thanksgiving chat kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? I'd love to do that. Um, anyways, thank you, Mandy. PayPal. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. Oh, Steffi only fishes. I know you. Thank you so much, Steffi. Steffi sent $2. Thank you so much. And said, not much, girl, but love you always from Steffi only fishes. Red heart emoji. Red heart emoji. Red heart emoji. Thank you so much. Thank you, Steffi. I'm glad you're here. Shauna. Shauna G. Wow. Thank you. Ten dollars. Thank you so much, Shauna. Uh, S H A W N A. Shauna, if you want to spell that. Uh, can we go back to sub only chat? We can. Um, I love. Uh, I'll read this and then I'll. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you, Layla. Yeah, viewers kind of spiked a little bit. Okay. Um, and Shauna said, I love watching you. I put you on while you're live and I do my house chores. You're such a beautiful, beautiful human being. Shauna, Uno reverse card. Uno reverse card. My friend. Thank you. You like my hair up? It was in my ERS. My E-R-R-S, my ERS. Um, it's much better now. I was getting a little bit hot. There's a lot of sunlight on this table, which I don't mind, but um, it's a little bit, it's a little bit more than I'd like, but I cannot control the sun. <sighs> That's good. Do I use any products for my hair? I do. Uh, Miss Jessie's Curl Pudding and Paul Mitchell Leave-In Conditioner, tea tree scented. Maybe if I pull it, I actually am not sure if I pull it a little bit what if I scooch even a little bit more this way? No, this is probably like the butter zone right here, actually. Let's try this. My dog's name is Nugget. Regarding Thanksgiving, it doesn't have to be on that Thursday, just FYI. Yeah, I mean, I'm open to it. Maybe talk about it in the Discord and see what people think. Um, 
Did my cider order come in yet? I checked last night, it was in Los Angeles, which usually means it's like two days away. Um, my guess is that it wasn't delivered today, but it will be delivered tomorrow. Like today, I have a feeling it got to San Francisco and tomorrow it'll be offered delivery. Just a guess. Thank you for subscribing, Shauna. And thank you again for the gift. You're a sweetie. I'm obsessed with lipstick. What's it called? Uh, it is Sephora Lip Stain number one. Uh, there's a bunch of different numbers and the classic red is number one. Thank you, Steven. Thank you everyone for subscribing. One, uh, one unfortunate but also fortunate uh, side effect of having all of the nasty trolls here is that we have to turn on uh, sub only to keep things safe, but people still want to talk. Um, so anyways, what am I going to eat? Well, we already ate Brussels sprouts and now we are going to eat while well, we're waiting on a Square Pie Guys original buffalo chicken pizza, which has buffalo parm sauce, creamy dip, red hot chicken, tangy buffalo ranch, and green onions. Sound good. It sounds good. I'm going to try and pull the table a little bit to the side so that it's not so sunny. If you give me a second. Do I have any favorite ethnic foods? My mind jumps immediately to Indian food. I just love Indian food so much. Sorry. This will probably be a whole lot better. A whole lot less sunny. Okay. Yeah, Indian food is probably my favorite. Indian, I love... Um, uh, sushi. Indian's probably the easiest one. It actually is like not even a little bit better. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and go sit on the other side. Hold on. Mm. Maybe over this way. Hi. Good. I'm just trying to uh, get out of the sun a little bit. It's a it's a whole puzzle. It's always moving. Maybe this is the right direction. How's this? Let's see. Thank you everyone for subscribing. Thank you, Jaden. Okay. I think this is way less sunny. Are we good with this, y'all? Thank you, Hart. Can, is there a name I can call you instead of Hart? I can call you Hart. Thank you, Cameo. Um, Oh no, I, uh, I think another one of the lemon limes, or is there a different version of it? Does the root beer have caffeine, do you know? It is not caffeinated. Not caffeinated? Okay, yeah, I'd love, I'd love that. Okay. Thank you. How do you join Discord? Good question. Um, so once you join TikTok subscription or Patreon subscription, either one, uh, you can join the Discord. Basically, you get a link uh, in the benefits section of it. You have to join, you have to go like, my benefits or something. And uh, then there'll be a link to join the Discord from there. And you have to already have an account and be signed in to like get the invite to join. Oh, this is so much better. Uh, so much better. Um, anyways, thank you to everyone who just subscribed. I appreciate it. And also, we got another couple of gifts. Dang, okay. Sorry, I missed all the gifts. <laughs> Kira, oh, thank you. Said $5. Uh, thank you so much. And said, have you seen the responses to your viral video? I certainly have. Uh, Lily, I can sub on Friday. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. Uh, I have seen the responses. I've seen the Elon Musk tweet response. Um, if your question is, do I stand by my video? The answer is yes. Um, thank you very much for the gift, Kira. Faith. Oh, oh, that was a sweet message. Faith said $2. Thank you so much. And said, sending you positive vi vibes and love. I have chronic nausea and was able to eat for the first time today. Uh, wow. Eating, uh, eating along with you. Got it. I was able to eat for the first time today, eating along with you. That is awesome. Congrats. Making eating makes eating less intimidating. You make a difference in the world in so many ways. Red heart emoji. Enjoy the pizza. Pizza emoji. Thank you so much, Faith. You were so sweet. <gasps> yes. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm not sure. Is it empty? Oh, I'll, I'll finish it up. Thank you. Um, Thank you. And I'm, I'm, again, honored to be helpful when it comes to eating. Um, I'll read the other ones in just a second. Have I ever had sarsaparilla? I think so. It's kind of like root beer, but more like clovey, right? 
All right, this is also root beer, caffeine free, perfect. Also zero alcohol, fear not. Oh, that's good. Wow, I like that a lot. I like it a lot. Wow, okay. Um, Coco, oh, Coco sent $15. Thank you, Coco. K-O-K-O, -K -O, by the way. Uh, sent $15 and said, the world is better because you're here, Lilybug. Lilybug. It's a sweet nickname. Thank you, Coco Bug. Very generous. Thank you, y'all. Thank you for supporting me and for, support for supporting the stream. The only reason that I can do this stream is because of gifts like these. Um, really, the only reason. I do not have a side job. I stream five times a week. I make videos. It's like what I do. Um, and I, it's only because of the Lily's Lovelace. And thank you, Layla. I feel slaying today. I, I feel I feel slay. Does that make sense? Thank you, Gavin. Yeah, I did hit 300k today. I saw that, which is pretty wild, if you ask me. Um, it's a lot of people. I was uh, I forget who there was some other creator who was talking about it. Like, you know, we kind of get lost in the numbers sometimes. But if you imagine 300,000 people, even if even if a third of those are bots, we'll say 200,000. Um, imagine a, the biggest stadium in the world. Like 70,000, 80,000 people, maybe. How many stadiums of people that it's wild. Um, and it gets even crazier when you think about the people who have millions of subscribers. Or just like how many people that is. Um, anyways, yes, crazy. Mm. Uh, breeze just hit. What a wonderful day. Square Pie Guys, by the way, if you're ever in San Francisco, please do please do visit them. Um, wow. Wow. Should we try the uh, comments back on again? Thank you, Mandy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Let me try it one more time. See how it's going. Give it a shot. There we go. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Sorry about that. One of these days, we'll calm down a little bit. Hi, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hi, Jesse. What time is it for me? It is 2.51 p.m. Hi. Hello, everybody. Did I go to college? Yes, I did go to college. I went to McAllister College and I graduated in 2015 with a bachelor's uh, in media and cultural studies. I am sober. Yes, this is just root beer. What does root beer taste like? It's hard to explain what root beer tastes like. You never had root beer. You have to just try root beer. I think it comes from sarsaparilla. I'm not sure. Lily, your eyeliner looks better and better every time. Dang. Okay. Thank you. A video. Maybe I should do a video and put it on YouTube. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's really, I feel like it's just, it's not really a secret. I use, oh, thank you, Moon. Thank you. You are so sweet. Um, I'm not, um, I'm, I just use like an eyeliner stamp. It's like a little, it's like a pen that has two sides and one side is like a little triangle stamp and you like boop, you put on the triangle and then you cap it and then put the other side, which is just like a pen. And then you draw it in, like draw all the way down. It's like a little bit of skill involved, but not as much as you think. I have hooded eyes as well. Well, I have hooded eyes. Um, definitely have hooded eyes for sure. I'm, both my eyes are hooded. So, um, the trick is like when you're putting the stamp, don't, don't like l lift your eyes and put it. You just like put it like this and then like look deadpan and like stamp. What tattoos do I have? Just this. And thank you, Kate. This is a, uh, I don't know if you can see it from here. This is a lesbian heart, uh, lesbian flag in a heart. And then this is a trans flag in a heart. Thank you. Yeah. Hand heart. I gotcha. My job before creating content, um, I can give you my full career history if you want. Uh, have I colored my hair again? Oh, it's still, it's, I haven't colored it again. It's, it's been, it's the same. Um, so I graduated from, wasn't I an alcoholic only recently been watching? Oh yeah, no, no problem, Rebecca. No, 
I mean, I don't drink alcohol, but alcohol was not my main um, substances of choice. I used a couple others that were, you know, bad in different ways. Um, but yeah, now I'm fully sober. Uh, have we had dinner yet? No. Do I play Fortnite? I do. I do. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you, Nina. Ritual is a great non-alcoholic drink. I'm open to it. I want to send a pic of my daughter if I can. Uh, well, Maria, uh, if you want to, there's a whole channel in the Discord that um, has like a kid photos section. So if you want to like um, talk to, and specifically you can talk to like other parents too, and I'll see it and so all the other people in the Discord. So um, it's nice. You should do it there. Am I good at Fortnite? That's a question for Ollie to answer because Ollie is the person I play with the most. Uh, do I have a hidden talent? I do have a hidden talent. Uh, I can make my tongue belly dance. If you want to see, I can show you. Uh, have an amazing meal. Okay, bye, Maddie. See ya. Thank you, Alex. I'm wearing my uh, lesbian flag earrings today. Lesbian flag butterflies. Do it? Okay, I'll show you. This is, uh, this is my um, belly dancing tongue. Okay? I haven't done it in a second. So, ready? What do you think? All right, Ollie says I'm good at Fortnite. There you go. <laughs> I can also do that, uh, and I can do the clover. That's it. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Um, very useful skill. It is, it is useful. I know. <laughs> Uh, can I make a clam? Yes. I'm assuming that's what you mean by clam. Do I have kids? No, I do not have kids. Um, I mean, I have my fur kid, my dog who's on my lap right now, but other than that, not really. But is it belly dancing if it's a tongue? Chels, you make a good point. I'm open to other names for this, but that's the best thing I got. Um, what's my favorite Mexican food? Um, I don't know. I mean... I like a I like a burrito. I know that's more like Southwest and more of an American invention, but tongue dancing, sure. But but like belly dancing tongue is so much more descriptive on what it is. Tongue dancing can mean so many different things. Nugget is in a diaper, yes. What should I eat tonight? I don't know. What kind of, what are the options? If you give me three options, we'll vote on them. Have I tried Indian food? It's only one of my favorite types of food in the world. Tacos are good too. Was I straight before the transition? Um, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, here's the thing. I've always been Lily. I've always been a girl. I've always been a woman. So I've always been a trans lesbian person, period. Did I think I was straight before I transitioned? Yes. That's what I thought. Um, I was wrong because it didn't change. I just didn't know. But yes, people thought, myself included, that I was straight before I transitioned because I did, who I was attracted to didn't change. Um, I right. starting to tell us your work history. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So when I was in college, I worked at a, well, I had a minor in education, but I, I spent a couple of semesters working for credit at, um, a preschool, which was great. And they were so nice there. Um, I learned a lot about like, childcare and like techniques on how to deal with kids. I also worked at a summer camp, a Jewish summer camp for kids for like five summers. And I taught cooking classes there, which was awesome. That was super formative for me. Um, and that's kind of where I realized that I like interpersonal things and I like kids because they're honest. Um, so I just kind of fell into education and I was a substitute teacher for a while after, after I graduated. And then I kind of fell into this after school program that I eventually took over and was running. And I was in charge of like 50 families and all the kids and parents that were like, you know, enrolling them and hiring teachers and curriculum and all these different things, facilities. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of work and it was very stressful. I was also like dealing with being in the closet at that point. I still didn't know I was trans. This was like 2017, 2018. Um, it was still fun. I still felt accepted. It was a very progressive place, but I, you know, I burnt out. And then from there, I went into the nonprofit world. <gasps> yes. 
Sorry, Nug. The same for you, bud. Oh, but he thinks it is. He thinks it's for him. Thank you so much. Oh, this looks delicious. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll hold on to those plates. Um, is there uh, any, some, maybe some ranch to dip it in or? Thank you so much. Or the square pie guys sauce. Yeah, thanks. Um, what do we think? This is the buffalo chicken um, pizza. I'll finish my work history then. Someone sent a very interesting message that I will read in a second. Um, so, um, what are we talking about? Oh yeah, so I, I went into like other nonprofit stuff, then I quit that. <laughs> and then eventually I decided I wanna get into the gaming space. I am Jewish. Uh, and so I left the Jewish nonprofit world and started working at a mobile gaming company. The mobile gaming company, I was there for three years. They did other stuff other than mobile games, but um, I eventually, this takes us all the way to the end of 2022 when um, I was uh, part of a round of layoffs. I didn't do anything wrong, but they laid me off in like half of the company. Um, thank you, Nicole. So that's when I started doing content full time. So it's been almost a year. Um, I'm Jewish. Cool. All right. One more, one more gift I want to read. And we're just letting this kind of like cool off for a second because I'm sure it's very hot. Kira. Ooh. Huh. Okay. Kira sent $3. Thank you. Thank you very much. And said, I think I might be trans. Can you help? You're my bat woman. Which is very kind of you. Um, I think I might be trans. Well, I'm, I could probably help. Are you, are you there, Kira? I'm happy to, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, let, let, are you here? Because I guess I have questions, right? Oh, thank you, Nina. I have a podcast, by the way. Are we gonna get fries? We'll see how we do with this pizza first. Maybe we'll do fries. Um, am I originally Jewish? Yes, I was born Jewish. My mom is Jewish. So and my dad eventually converted to Judaism. Um, we're a Jewish family, Jewish summer camp, Jewish everything. Am I still going to Jolene's? I don't drink and I don't like loud bars. So neither are Jolene's. Jolene's is a lesbian bar in San Francisco that I've been, I've been before. It was fun. It was just too loud for me. Like I would need to go with, I would, I would like, if I would go, if there was no music playing and there was no alcohol, but everyone's drinking and it's like dancing and it's like, ah, so stimulating. I was not in Vancouver a few weeks ago. But yeah, Kira, um, the thing about being trans is if you think you might be trans, you might be, right? There's, um, you're probably you're probably on the right track just thinking you might be trans. Um, in terms of are you trans, I'm assuming that from, I hate to make assumptions, but uh, you know, if this is not the case, please let me know. But Kira is usually a more femme name. So if you were assigned the name Kira at birth, maybe you think you're non-binary or trans male, trans man. Um, but if it's vice versa, if Kira is the name you've adopted and this is your actual name, maybe you think you're trans femme. Either way, um, the way that you normally figure out if you're trans or not is via the button metaphor, okay? Big red button. I don't have the big red button today, but I'm presenting you a metaphorical big red button. We'll say it's this little button right here. Boop. If you press this button, you're, everyone will immediately perceive you. Uh, yeah, we can go back to sub only. Uh, if, you, if you press the button, oh, thank you. Everyone will immediately perceive you as a different gender, right? So if you want everyone to perceive you, if, if you think you might be a trans woman like me, uh, if you press the button, everyone will immediately perceive you as a woman. If you think you're a trans man, press the button, everyone will perceive you as a man. If you think you might be non-binary, press the button, everyone will see, perceive you as whatever version of non-binary is affirming to you, okay? Um, and also your body will change in a way that is affirming to you, right? The important part is when you press the button, no one will ever know, like all their memory will be rewritten, right? So that um, they'll always have perceived you as a woman, right? They'll never know you were ever transitioned. It'll just be boom. And also your wardrobe will change. All like the, the dirty details will be taken care of. But like the question is, would you press the button? 
you can't go back. You can't just try it. Would you press the button? It's non-returnable, right? If like you press the button, you're immediately perceived by the world as a different gender, your body changes, etc. Would you press it? If you would press the button, you're probably trans because cis people wouldn't press the button. Cis people aren't interested in the button. Okay. Yes, feel free to ask a question, man, uh, Mandy. So if you think you press the button, you, you might be trans. There's always a chance you're not, but like probably are if you would press the button. All right, Nugget, I need you to be, I need to be able to eat this meal in peace, buddy. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put you back in the stroller and I am going to give you little pieces, okay? In fact, you're going to try this pizza before I even do, okay? All right, here we go. This is the buffalo chicken pizza from Square Pie Guys in San Francisco. Look at that. There's, this is Detroit style, so it's more of like a nugget. <laughs> nugget will not give up. Uh, it's more of like a thick focaccia dough as opposed to a thin crust, scallions, buffalo chicken, uh, hot sauce, buffalo sauce underneath instead of chicken. No, instead of marinara. Mm. If you can't do spicy, know that it's really not that spicy. Yes, Mandy, ask the question. I'm here for it. Well, it's about to be messy. I can tell. Um, that's really good. It very much tastes like what if buffalo wings were a pizza. They're, they really did a good job of capturing that. Okay, I'll okay. get caught. Mm. 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 Mandy, I'm still waiting on your question. Wow. It's good chicken too. I was always pan before transitioning. I was more into girls I might be shifting a bit. That's totally legit. I mean, I've heard of a lot of people's interests shift. Thank you, Coco. Um, when they transitioned. Mine have not. I like them. I like my interests the way they are. But, you know, I can't control it if it does. I see you, Nug. I'm giving you pizza, I promise. Yeah, I mean, I've just never really been interested in masculinity for myself or in my potential partners. It's not really interesting to me. As opposed to femininity, like, hello. Femininity, here for it. Masculinity, not so much. Mm. This is a square pie guy sauce. It's kind of like fry sauce. Very good to dip in. Very good. 10 out of 10, y'all. And this is a collaboration with Kinda Funny. They're a local San Francisco, like, gaming... I don't know if anyone knows kind of funny here. They're good guys. Um, I was actually at the launch party for this particular type of pizza. I met all the kind of funny guys. They're all sweeties. And there's a good pizza. I'm not sure how... how they came up with the flavor. Buffalo's a really good, good pick, though. All right, I'm waiting on Mandy and Coco's question. You might be getting filtered. Try and ask it in a different way if you think you're getting filtered. Mm. Wow. Wow. All right, Nugget, just to keep you appeased. There you go, bud. I'm trying to give him pieces that don't have any buffalo on it. Because I just know that's going to be bad. Here, I'll give you a big piece of chimkin. I accepted on pan later in life. It led me to learning on envy. Well, there you go. Congratulations on living your truth. Congrats. Can you can you tell us more about your journey? Like, what um, 
where in the non-binary space do you fall? What kind of questions are off limits? Ask anything. I mean, look, I'll tell you, if you ask a question in good faith, there's really no limit. Um, there's a lot of filters in place. So if you ask a question and I'm not answering it, it's pro it's almost, it's 99% chance that it's getting filtered. Even if I see it and I don't want to answer it, I'll say like, I'm not going to answer that, but I venmo it. Okay. Mandy venmo the question. Okay. I see it. I think she's getting... Okay, LOL. Have you ever been with a femme person who hasn't had any surgery? Got it. So if I've been with someone who's had a, who has a cake pop stick, is what you're, ask, what you're asking, I'm assuming? Um, the answer? Oh, yeah. And thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't particularly care what the body parts are. It's the femininity that I'm attracted to. I don't need the parts to be one or the other. Are they femme? That's all I need. I've talked about it a lot on my podcast. Mm. Here you go, Doug. Here you go, Bob. Rosemary is one of them. Um, there's someone named Lex who... I haven't seen in like a year, but she, um, several, several people. I'm not sure what that is, Luna. I won't say no to it, but I've never heard that word before. It's not pan because pan... The pan version of it would be like, I don't care if they're masculine or feminine or what parts they have. But for me, it's I don't care if they, what parts they have, but I do care if they're feminine or not. So feminine people, regardless of gender. Oh, well, yeah, I guess. I guess that sounds about right. Yeah. I can say I'm not. The only thing with it, Luna, is that no one knows what Finn, Finn means. So, like, for ease of conversation, I would usually just say sapphic or lesbian. Was my question okay? Um, your, your question got filtered, Lacey. Your question got filtered. Try it again. Welcome back, Coco. Hmm. Nice, Amanda. Welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Mm. Again, yeah, if you say a question and I don't respond, especially when we're in sub only, I can see everything. But if your question gets filtered, even though it looks like you're sending it, it's not sending. Try again. You can try and maybe... Um, a friend of mine adjust pronouns. It's hard to remember any advice. I mean, if you're a person who switches pronouns a lot, which is totally valid, I think it's kind of on you to find a way to communicate your pronouns with someone um, every day, right? If it's changing on a day-to-day -day basis, my best bet would be, my, my, and look, I'm sure people have better strategies than me, but I would say like have a set of pins maybe or a sticker for the day that just just like non-verbally communicates your pronouns for that day so no one has to ask. And I don't think it's particularly unreasonable to ask your friend to do that. Like, hey, I want to get your pronouns right. Is there any way that we can like that you can like communicate that with me without me having to ask every time? Because I don't want to be annoying. Right? <clears throat> that seems reasonable. All right, someone sent me, I believe, a question. Nugget, I've given you so much food. I need you to just calm down for a little bit, okay? You know you're going to keep getting food. Uh, Rachel's, Rachel sent $2. Thank you, Rachel. Um, 
and is asking me not to chew with my mouth open. Um, I'm not going to change that. I'm sorry. Um, it was in good faith, but you can just not tune in if you don't want. I, I can't help you. Sorry. Um, that ruby here. Nugget, I'm telling you, but I'm about to put the screen down. I'm going to put the screen down for a second. I know you don't like that, but you got to stop trying to jump into my lap. I've been giving you plenty of food. It's not even very good for you. No, it's not even very good for you. And you know this, but you're being very impatient. Nugget, you're being very impatient today. You've gotten lots of food already. You Nugget, you will continue to get food. Stop putting your paw on me. Stop. No. Nugget? No. I will put, I will zip you up in the thing so you cannot do it and then you will not have no way of getting food. I don't want to cut you off from this delicious pizza, but you are being kind of annoying right now. And I know you can understand every word I'm saying. All right. Sorry, bud. Got to put you in the zip. No. I need you to know that you can't be ask you can't be trying to jump into my lap all the time. I love you very much. <sighs> um, for those who are new, can you tell your story? Um, I can tell my story. Um, I'm Lily. I'm trans. Hi, Tigger. Hello, friend. Um, I'm Lily. I'm a trans woman. I stream five times a week, Monday through Friday, usually around this time. Um, uh, in terms of my trans story, I realized I was trans at 27 years old, um, which was three years ago or so. Nugget is not happy with that. Uh, about three years ago, um, I started transitioning as soon as I realized. And um, yeah, I make content full time, full time content creator. Uh, all of the people who support the stream are called the Lily's Lovelies. They're lovely people. We have a whole Discord server and everything. Um, yeah, I mean, my whole mission is to make the world a better place for trans people and queer people and just to make the world a more loving place. At the end of the day, that's what I'm here for. Um, we do a lot of conversations here of like talking about what it means to be trans, talking about my story, all sorts of stuff. Helping people with their issues as they, as they come up. And that's about it. Um, if you have other questions, I'm happy to answer, but... Um, common questions. My parents and brother are supportive. I didn't really lose any friends, except for my dad's side of the family. Okay, are you going to behave when I put this up? No. Okay. I'm going to let you sit there. Like this. I will bring, I will give you crust every minute or two. Okay. You just have to be cool about it. Be cool, Nugget. Nugget does not know how to be cool. Mm. That's a good pizza. That's a good pizza. That's a really good pizza. I remember that movie with John Travolta. Be cool. It was a bad movie. I saw it like one time. Like one time. Nugget needs Fonzie lessons. That's what I'm saying. Like you're cramp you're harsh in the vibe, dude. Mm. Mm. I really good. I don't know if I want a fourth slice. Um but as I said, I would bring Katie food. Oh, I hear you, Lacey. Lacey, try and use words that I love it. Um, yeah, I love it so much. I think so. 
And also, I want to bring some food back to my um, my date tonight. So, I'm trying to think what she would want. A pizza might be too much. I'm going to bring her this slice. Maybe like a salad or something? I don't know. What do you think would be good? The which one? Oh, like with chicken. It's our salad. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Thank you, and I'll and I'll do it at the end, like takeout. Yeah. Thanks. Let me get the bite. Okay, this one's for Joey. There you go, Joey. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. But yeah, I'm sorry if your question keeps getting filtered. Try and use in like the most basic question you can. Or the ba basic words you can. Even if you think it's a little bit obtuse, I promise it's a question I probably... No one's answering me. Am I able to join Discord now that I subscribe? Yes, you are. If you go into the benefits section, there should be a link to join. The benefits section on either TikTok or Patreon, whichever one. Thank you, SC. But yeah, I I'm happy to answer the question, truly. Um... I just, it, yeah, it just keeps getting filtered. But if you if you try to just like, like for example, if you're asking about bottom surgery, right? Don't use, parts might be, so say like P and V instead of something. You know what I'm saying? Like try, try to just like obscure any and every word and I promise I'll be able to parse it. There's enough people in here we'll be able to figure it out. Hmm. I don't want that last slice. I don't need it, but I, I want it. I've had nothing really to eat today. We only have Brussels sparse. Like, it's just so good. But I want to save it for Katie. Because I want her to... Oh, she's had it before, hasn't she? But this is her dinner. We're going we're gonna to have monkey bread, too. It's just a topic I want to be knowledgeable. Okay. Well, in two words, what's the topic? And I can explain it. Is it non-binariness? Is it about being trans? Is it about surgery? About coming out? Is it about pronouns? We'll play 20 questions and I'll try to get to your question. How's that? I bet we can get there. All right, I'm gonna take this off the table because I want to save it for Katya. call her Katya from now on, even though her real name isn't even Katie. Her nickname, Katya. It's only 321. Dang. Thank you, Tigger. It's a fun shirt. I'm going through these napkins. Does Nugget ever jump out? Yes, sometimes. But I think he's wised up to it a little bit. Uh, he knows that nothing good can come of jumping out. <laughs> I'm just going to put him back in. All right, come here. Come here. Food's already gone. Sorry, buddy. Oof. That was good pizza. Square pie, guys. Good pizza. I feel so bad. There's probably one word that Lacey is using that is getting filtered. Try and ask it an entirely different way. Entirely different way. Also, Lacey, I, if you really want to ask it and you and it's worth a dollar to you or like a cent, whatever, just send me a cent on Venmo and put the question in the subject. I'll answer it. I love meeting Mike. I agree. Mike is a nice person. I met him before at um, Mark. Mark, not Mike, not Mike, Mark. Uh, uh, I met him at the, the Buffalo Chicken launch event. He was nice there, and he's nice here. He owns the place. No, I got you. I, I, I remember from... Hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Mm. So next up is monkey bread. Nugget, my dude. What? What has gotten it? You've gotten so much good food. I gave you chicken chips earlier. I gave you chicken chips. You got pizza. What is your problem today, bud? 
I don't even know what his deal is today. Acting a fool. Acting a dang fool, that nug. All right. I'm going to turn on the sub chats for a little bit and see how it goes. Tell you what, with this nugget dude. This nugget dude. Penny Joe. Hello. Welcome back. Hi. Sending love and light. Yes. Is Nugget thirsty? Uh, maybe. Luckily, we have this. Any shows I'm watching currently? Um, not really. Love you too, Liz. What does Discord mean? Discord is um, like our community hub. So it's like a bunch of group chats where we talk about anything and everything. Like post pictures of our pets. Hi, Lex. Uh, we post pictures of our pets. We talk about mental health. We talk about what we have for breakfast. It's just like a community. It's great. You good, bud? Do you want more? More. No, he does, has no chill. Usually he has some chill, which is kind of crazy that he has no chill today. Probably because the pizza was so good that he was like willing to throw his, his, uh, his manners. You okay, bud? His manner is out the door. Um, probably. Probably. How long have I been in San Francisco? About three years. Nugget does wear a diaper. He does. All right. There's the question. I see why I was getting filtered. Liam sent a dollar and said, I should try long nails. Well, thank you for the dollar, Liam. I don't like long nails. Sorry. I like short nails. Uh, it's function and fashion. Nugget. Don't make me zip you up, dude. You are acting a fool today. Truly acting a fool. And I'm not having it, bud. I don't know what's gotten into you. Um, all right, here's Lacey's question. I... You know, I, I do apologize. I don't believe I understand the question, Lacey. Maybe uh, y'all can help me. Will surgery affect your desires for femininity? Affect your desires for femininity. Does that mean when I get bottom surgery that will I still be interested in feminine people? The answer is yes. Like I said, the I don't particularly care what parts are down there. If you're a feminine person, I'm interested. So me changing my parts won't won't do anything. I will um good gravy, I was struggling. I hear you. Um, I mean, look, let me put it this way. There are lots of girls that have cake pop sticks. Plenty. Um and the other thing is, I think maybe that's what you're getting at. Like, uh, plenty of girls have cake pop sticks. And for those who don't, it's not like you can't have fun. If you know what I'm saying. I think that's what you're getting at. I'm feminine. Hi. Hello. 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 Um, Nuggy is needed today. I agree. What is cake pop stick? Think about it. Think about it. Cake pop stick. Like a cake pop. Did I consider myself a lesbian before I transitioned? Well, retroactively, yes. I didn't know if it affected hormones. No, my hormones won't change before and after I had I have the surgery. My, I have lots of estrogen and no testosterone in my system. And it will be the same after surgery as well. Um, that doesn't change. It's just the configuration of the parts that changes. That's it. All right, nugget. I need you. I'm going to put you like this. I need you to please relax. Hey, 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 like that. Thank you. Thank you. Is Apple Watch worth it? For me, it is because it's the only way that I can read donations to the stream um, without like stopping the stream. Because otherwise, I only have like um, uh, notifications which go away in like two seconds. So. Uh, do I only have one dog? Yes, I do only have one dog. All right, my 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 mail is still checking for an update. So if anyone sent, oh no, there it is. 
Uh, Nugget is a uh, multi-mix. And yes, he does have a Nugget on. He does have a Nugget. He has a diaper on uh, because he has a degenerative disc uh, on his back that sometimes, especially when he gets moved around a lot, like in a stroller, uh, he'll lose control of his bladder. Thank you, Lee. Uh, I know, he's very cute. I have a question about my trans femme roomie. Okay, sure. Am I still dating Katie? Yes. Katie is going to be getting that slice of pizza and a salad to go. You may ask a question. It wouldn't let me cash app you. Can I ask what it said? Um, we've got, we, Lacey sent a cash app moments ago, so should be working. Maybe it's on your end. I'm not sure. Um, thank you. My girlfriend is straight. Well, um, she would call herself bi, but, um, no, she's not straight. She's also not cis, if that helps. That was, uh, yeah, that was my not so slick way of telling you that, uh, she is a trans woman. Um, but I date both cis women and trans women. I have no preference between the two. Cis is just not trans. They are opposites of each other. So if you are not trans, you are cis. If you are not cis, you are trans. Uh, thank you, Kefufa. Am I in an open relationship? We're polyamorous. We met on Tinder. Thank you, Margaret. Lesbian? Lesbian's a good way of describing it, yes. Uh, Cash App probably does not work from UK to US. Um, PayPal does, though, if you want to send money that way. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, what do I need donations for? Uh, I do this full time. So the, really the only way I can do this stream five times a week is via y'all's help. Um, that's really it. And even if we pay for the meals, uh, rent electricity, heat, food for Nugget, etc. Um, so thank you. Was I in Alcatraz last Thursday? No, I have not been to Alcatraz for like a year and a half, two years. Um, what is cis? Cis is C-I-S, C-I-S. It is the opposite of trans. So if you're not trans, you're cis. If you're not cis, you're trans. There is no other, it's like being left-handed and right-handed. There is no other version. There is no like middle-handed, ambidextrous, sure. But like for the sake of this example, there's nothing else. Um, so anyways, uh, boop -ba -doop -ba -doo. we got a couple questions and donations. I think donations via questions. Uh, do you have to be a part of the LGBTQ to subscribe and join Discord? Uh, no, you do not. Um, I, um, I'm not going to say your name only because if you do end up joining the discord, I want you to, I think you understand. Uh, thank you for the gift by the way, but no, you can be, there's plenty of straight cis people in, um, in our discord, like so many. In fact, if you are a straight cis person in our discord, raise your hand. I know you're out there. There's also plenty of queer people, but plenty of straight cis people. Okay. Um, also, I, I, I hate to say, but if you tip me one cent, I'm not going to answer your question. Ooh, thank you. Yes, please. Thank you, Cameo. Um, sorry, Nug. <laughs> she is not happy. All right. What do we think, y'all? Pretty good, huh? This is monkey bread, which is basically like pull apart pizza. It's pizza dough that's been dunked in butter and sugar, and there's Granny Smith apples and salt on top, ricotta cheese, and caramel. Pretty good, huh? Pretty good. What part of SF? Um, I live in the city. I don't want to say anything more than that, but um, another question. Sarah sent a dollar. Thank you. Do you think there's something wrong with not wanting to date someone because they're bi? Is that biphobic? Yes, it is. Um, someone's sexuality, like if you, so let's say that you identify as a woman 
and you want to date a man who is bi. So that man might also be interested in other men. Uh, if they're also interested in you, there's no reason not to be attracted to them if they're bi. So yes, biphobic. Um, thank you so much. Um, Hannah, Hannah E. Okay, can I read this question? I can answer this. Uh, Hannah E. said, uh, unsure how to word this, regardless of if nugget, you are not going to get any, buddy, I need you to be cool, bud. You know how much I love you. You are annoying the crap out of me right now. You're not going to get any of this. This is not for you. Maybe I'll give you an apple. You missed it. Try again. <sighs> Your mom loves you, even when you're annoying. This guy. This, this guy. Okay, uh, regardless of if you would want children, after surgery, bottom surgery, could I carry a child? Genuinely asking not to try to be sarcastic or mean. Also, thank you for educating the world. I appreciate and enjoy your content. Thank you very much, Hannah. Um, would I be able to carry a child? No, I would not. Uh, only because I don't have ovaries. Just get, but getting bottom surgery does not create ovaries. Um, ovaries are a very complicated thing that we have not figured out how to transplant, uh, into other people yet. So, um, no, no, no trans woman can carry a child in the same way that, um, no trans man can impregnate someone. Um, and that's okay. I mean, I know it is a, uh, difficult thing for many people to come to terms with. I don't particularly care because I don't want children. But I know that many trans women um, want to have children. Um, and they can't have their own children because of that reason. But I also like have no issue with the idea of adopting a child, if that were to be something I wanted. All right, y'all look at this. Look at this, y'all. See that? That's pizza dough dunked in butter and sugar. Can we go sub only? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. I really hope being sub only isn't like a permanent fixture of this stream. Hopefully not. All right, so this is ricotta cheese. Actually, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to crack it open like, actually, ooh, too hot, Never mind. I'm gonna do one of these and then I'm gonna dunk it in caramel. Ooh, look at that. Mm. So greasy, so buttery. That's great. Wow. Mm. So yeah, no, trans women cannot carry children. Doesn't bother me, but yeah. By the same token, a lot of times people are like, why are we not using the word mother in every situation when it comes to like a maternity ward or that kind of thing. It's because men can give birth too. Non-binary people can give birth. People who have a uterus can give birth. And people who have a uterus have very varied gender expression, right? Like you can have a uterus and be a man. You can have a uterus and be a woman. You can have a uterus and be non-binary or a gender. So, you know, when we talk about bearing children, a lot of people can bear children. Plenty of trans men bear children. I will tell you, though, fun fact. Trans women can breastfeed. That is something we figured out. You have to induce lactation. But it's totally possible. And the milk you, use, milk you generate is perfectly healthy for children. Thank you, CW. Thank you for subscribing. So, fun fact of the day. Here you go, Nug. Will I ever do that? Probably not. But it's cool to know that I could. If I really wanted to, I could. I don't. But it's good to know I have the ability. Hmm.
Mm. Wow. There's straight up chunks of caramel on that. Incredible. Incredible. The Granny Smith apples really tie it together, too. Ooh, there's like vanilla bean on the bottom. Look at this. So hot. Look at that. Like vanilla bean. They're using real vanilla right here. Real vanilla. No messing around. If you are on Cypro, you don't even need to induce it. Actually, we need to control it. Really? I had no idea. Wild. <clears throat> All right, someone on PayPal. Oh. Rebecca. Thank you, Rebecca. Rebecca sent six bucks. Thank you very much. That is so sweet. And Seb, I started watching you on live because of the viral video about misgendering. I just want to say how I that I love how authentic you are and how you're so true to yourself and your listeners. Thank you so much. You're a sweetie, Rebecca. Thank you for being here. Yeah, that that video definitely definitely put the, st the stream out there. It was a little bit of a quieter stream until that came along. For better or for worse. I can't talk. For better or for worse. Mm. Monkey bread at Square Pie, guys, by the way. That's where we are. So good. Ricotta cheese. Also, someone else on PayPal sent a dollar and said, I've been trying to, and thank you for the dollar. I've been trying to ask, but never get seen. Hope it's okay to ask. When someone transitions, do they also change their middle name? Thanks for your kindness. Of course, and thank you for the, for the gift. Um, not always. My middle name was Sylvan. Whoa, thank you, Angela. That's a lot of roses, much appreciated. It's a lot of roses. Thank you, thank you. Um, so, my birth name was Nicholas Sylvan Pantino. Sylvan is the masculine version of the name Sylvia. My grandmother's middle name was Sylvia. My cousin's name Sylvia. It's a family name. So. When it, came, when it came time to transition, Sylvan is a masculine name. So yeah, I don't want it anymore. I considered changing it to Sylvia, but like it was just a little bit too close to what it used to be in the same way that I didn't want to change my name to Nicole, from Nick to Nicole. Again, nothing wrong with that name. I know plenty of great Nicoles, but I want like to, to really, I want to take a step away from anything close to what I used to be called and like step into something entirely new. So the same went for Sylvan. Uh, and I actually chose Maya instead of Sylvia. Maya is a Jewish name. It can be a Jewish name. And there's a Maya that I really liked from um, where I used to work. She was just like a kind soul. And I really like the name Maya. Um, so I chose Maya. But do all trans people change their middle name? No. And also, not all trans people even change their name necessarily. Sometimes, maybe you have like a gender neutral name, right? Maybe you're born given the name Taylor or Mackenzie or, I don't know. You can think of a bunch of gender neutral names. Hi again. Um, maybe like 10, 15 minutes. Thank you. Um, thank you again, Angela. Um, a lot of people, you know, like might have a gender neutral name at birth and not feel the need to change their name at all. Right. And then there's also the difference of changing your legal name, right? Dylan's a good one. My legal name up until earlier this year was Nicholas, even though I went by Lily. Um, but now my name is legally Lily, right? I'm legally female, legally Lily Maya Contino. So everyone does things different. Can I explain the difference between preference and phobia? Asks Lacey. 
yeah, I mean, I think it's referring back to someone saying, if I, if I don't want to date someone who's bi, does that make me biphobic, right? So if you're a woman who's dating, who wants to, who's thinking about dating a man and this man is bi, but you don't want to date him specifically because he's bi, does that make you biphobic? The answer is yes. Why? So let's break down what you like about this guy. You would date him except for the fact that he's bi in this situation. So the factor you have determined is the deal breaker is that he is bi. How does his being bi affect you? The answer is it doesn't. Because if you're entering into a presumably monogamous relationship with this man, he's interested in you, you're interested in he him. He's also interested in men, but that's irrelevant because you're in a monogamous relationship. The fact that he's bi is entirely irrelevant to your, to your attraction to each other and to your relationship, right? If the only thing about him that you don't like is his bi-ness, ask yourself why. What do you not like about him being bi? It doesn't affect your relationship. It doesn't mean that he's a different person. All it means is that you have biphobia. You are biphobic. Um, I hope that helps. Preference, on the other hand, right? Like, if this man... So, so let's say that um, you, the, you, everything was good about this guy, and he's straight and everything, except for the fact that he had stinky breath. That makes sense. That's a preference. Because stinky breath affects your relationship. On a day-to-day -day basis, when you were sitting on the couch with this guy, and his breath stink, it's no good. That's, that's, that's a negative for your relationship. Whereas every day when you're sitting on the couch, it's not like his bi-ness is going to offend you. It's not like he acts differently because he's bi. He just is. So that's the difference between preference of I don't like stinky breath or I prefer my men to be tall and muscular or short and like, you know, that's preference and that's fine. But when it comes to something like, I don't like my men to be bi, that's a thing you don't like that there's no reason for you not to like it other than the fact that you're biphobic. Am I explaining this well? Anyways, there you go, Lacey. Kelly. Send three dollars. Thank you, Kelly, for being. Thanks for being you. Red heart emoji. Thank you for being you, Kelly. Thank you for being here, Kelly. She. Bailey S. Whoa. Bailey S. Sent twenty whole dollars. Dang, Bailey. I think I just said Bailey in a very southern accent. Dang, Bailey. Dang. Hey, Bailey. Bailey S. Um, I'm going to read your message. It is very sweet of you. Let me read it. Wanted to say, I grew up in a very conservative, and I hate to say it, but narrow-minded place. Once I moved out of my childhood home, I came into, once I move, moved out of my childhood home, home, I came into a lot more of my own ideas, and your videos have helped me see so much more and truly understand. Love your videos. Thanks for educating us. Heart emoji with the arrow through it. Thank you, Bailey. Honestly, it's messages like that that are so helpful in keeping me going on making the videos because, you know, you, you're the target audience, right? People who, I would say, there's two kinds of people who are quote unquote conservative. There's conservatives who will never want trans people to thrive and never want, will accept the fact that I'm a woman, right? You can't change those people. But then there's the people who are maybe like you, grew up in a conservative household, don't know any better, don't know any different. But then when they hear the truth of the matter, they say, oh yeah, that makes sense. I'm going to admit the fact that my thinking before was wrong and that now I understand why people are all worthy of love, right? Why trans people and queer people are worthy of love. That's why I make those videos, is to help folks who maybe grew up in unfortunate, unfortunate circumstances. So. Thank you, Bailey. Thank you for being here. Let me shove this in my mouth real quick. I feel 
Nuggets are always trying to break free, Jens. Nuggets like Freddie Mercury. He wants to break free. He wants to break free. Okay. <laughs> More messages. Mallory. Oh, thank you, Mallory. Mallory sent two bucks. Thank you. What makes you realize what made I was realize I was trans at 27? Can you talk about what transitioning looked like for you? For example, when you when you say when I started transitioning, dot dot dot. I was um I had severe substance abuse problems and I was zonked out starting about 10 years old. I know. I um I didn't have the capacity in my brain for 17 years of being on very heavy substances um, to figure out that I was trans. And finally, I got off of them at about 27 years old. That's when I started thinking to myself, who am I? Why am I so sad? Why do, why do every day I wake up and feel like I'm performing as someone I'm not? And I realized that that was from gender dysphoria, that the thing that was really holding me back in life was I was pretending to be someone I was not which is to say, a man. I'm not a man, I'm a girl, I'm, I'm a woman. Um, I realized this um, via the urge, I guess you could say, to try on new clothes. And that was what helped me get the original spark of like, oh yeah, I'm trans. It's more than just cl clothes, but that was kind of how I figured it out. And once I realized I am trans, once I realized, um, you can, Coco, you don't need to ask questions with cash, cash app. You can ask your questions here, especially in sub only mode. I will see them. Um, the only thing with cash app is that sometimes if you're trying to ask a question that keeps getting filtered, we, that can be helpful. But, um, anyways, so once I realized I was trans at 27, that's when I started like building a new wardrobe, figuring out, you know, who I was, uh, deciding like what my new name was telling my friends and family, coming out on the internet, learning makeup, performing femininity. Well, performing is not the right word, but, you know, becoming my true self, right? That's what transitioning is, is like finding yourself for the first time. Hope that helps. Oh. I just need you to read this... Um, Finding your femininity, exactly. I just need to read you this um, Patreon notification email. Fart lover. <laughs> Hi, Andrea. Fart lover 227 just became a $10 member. Thank you, fart lover 227. Welcome to the Patreon, my friend. What an email that is. Or actually, it's not an email. It is a username that this person selected. More power to you. I see their Gmail. They have a normal name. Thanks, Fart Lover 227. Much appreciated. Um, I'm going to mess up this name. Isaiah, I think. Isaiah. Isaiah J said, Oh my gosh. Um, in January, my dad suffered a major stroke that took out most of his physical abilities. It's been 11 months of grieving this loss. And your stream is the one thing that's made it feel a little less lonely. Oh, any advice on battling depression is kindly appreciated. Thank you, Lily. Well, first off, thank you. And I am so sorry that that happened. Um, um, and, I'm, I'm, and I'm honored that we can be a bright spot for you. Advice on battling depression. I mean, I still battle it. Um, I take medication for it to start with. I take sertraline, but beyond that, if you're not already in therapy, go to therapy. Not, you, I think sometimes a pitfall people fall into with therapy is like they try once and maybe it's not the best fit or maybe on the in the first session, they might be expecting that all their problems would be solved and it'd be a one-off or two-off thing. Therapy is the thing that you should expect to have be a part of your life for your whole entire life. Not every day or every week necessarily, but like therapy is an important exercise that humans need to be healthy in the modern age, uh, spiritually, emotionally, etc. If you're not in therapy, go. Have someone to talk to, just to vent to of like, oh my God, this is so hard, right? And they can give you 
it's kind of like the teach a person to fish metaphor thing where you if you give a person a fish they're hungry they're full for a day but if you teach them how to fish they're you know they last a lifetime the same goes for therapy a therapist is not going to give you a fish they're not just going to say well here's your happiness money please that's not how therapy works therapy is a thing where you get a tool set and you need to work to they help you build your tool set right so that when awful things happen instead of just being completely ill-equipped for the emotional brunt of whatever happened, right? Like for example, if your dad has a major life changing stroke, um, when things happen or when things come back up for you, you're able to handle those things more effectively. It doesn't make it easy, but it makes it so that you're not completely disabled and like on the floor, unable to do anything all, all day long, right? Does that help? Is that what? I mean? Okay, so therapy would be number one. And number two is just talk about it with your friends if you can. Get out, do things other than just being um, at home, right? Try and force yourself to go out with friends. Um, also, depression is made much worse by substance abuse. So if you think that's something that you're at risk for, do a sober month or something. I, of course, am doing a sober life. It's great, highly recommend. But that's another thing to help clear your head. A lot of times when traumatic things happen to us, we lean into substances because it helps numb the pain briefly. And yes, it does numb the pain briefly. It also magnifies the pain once the numbing is over. It concentrates it, compacts and amplifies the pain. So if you can, do stay away from that. Good luck. And we're here for you. Akila. Hello, Akila. This is not your first time. You've told me how to pronounce your name correctly. And I did. And they sent $15 just because red heart emoji. Thank you, Akila. You are so sweet. I remember because last time I said Aquila and I was incorrect. You said Akila. And I remember, oh, yeah, like the bee. I saw that movie. Um, Thank you very much, Akila. Everyone say thank you to Akila. You're a sweetie. Oh, chef's wife. Hello. Thank you very much. Oh, so you're a chef's wife. That's fun. You must get a lot of good food. I'm assuming. I don't know. Maybe the chef doesn't want to cook when he's home. I hope he does, though. He should. If he doesn't, let me know. I'll have a talking to him. Thank you so much. Um, Krista. Oh, thank you. Krista sent a dollar. That's all I could send. More coming Friday. Oh, thank you. And some kiss and kissy emojis. Thank you so much, Krista. Anyways, y'all been so nice today. I appreciate it. Um, viewers are a little bit down. Should we turn comments back on for a second? Maybe. We'll give it a shot. Let's go. Um, in the meantime, I need to see the name in front of me so I don't get it wrong. Isaiah commented and said, thank you so much for your responses. Thank you so much. Your responses were incredibly helpful. You are truly a gift to the world. Uno reverse card on you, Isaiah. Uno reverse card. Thank you, everybody. Hi. Ooh, look at all these good vibes. Look at that. Look at y'all with the good vibes in the, the comments. I like this. Where am I eating? I'm at Square Pie, guys. Um, we just finished our dessert here, but um, I have some water left here. Thank you, shoddy. Oh, I needed that. Hi, Laura. You too. Thank you. Mm -mm -mm. It's good. It's good water. Um, why are people so mean? I don't know. I don't know why people are so mean. Um, some people, I think, have sadness inside of them that is numbed maybe or temporarily helped by being mean to other people it's like i mean you've ever been bullied on the playground pretty much 100 percent of the time a bully on the playground is someone who's getting bullied somewhere else in their life or has a tough family situation, they're taking it out on you. Because um, that was me. I was getting bullied a lot. But 
Uh, I mean, the same thing applies here. Like the people who come here to be negative, unfortunately, there is some pity I have. I do have some pity for those people. I mean, there's only so much pity you can have because they're being awful, but yeah. Congrats on living a sober life. Thank you, Rob. You're 21 years sober and it changed my life. Good for you, Rob. Thank you. And thank you for the nice words. You are sweet. Thank you, Izzy. Thank you. What did I order for dinner? We had a buffalo chicken pizza. We had fried Brussels sprouts and monkey bread. And I am shocked that I finished that monkey bread. Shocked. Good for you. I've been sober for a whole week. Good for you. That's awesome. Keep it going. It's good. It'd be even better two weeks or even one week, one day. Um, hi from Italy. Hello. My cat insisted on rubbing against my phone listening to you. Okay, I'm gonna try something. You ready? Meow. 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 Did that work? Did it work? Oh, thank you. I'd make a great philanthropy guest speaker. Sure. If you don't want any nonprofits that want to hire me to speak, I'll do it. Um, <laughs> am I trying to flirt with you? Maybe. Uh, can I ask you a personal question? Yeah, yeah, ask the question. The comments are like decent for now. Not too terribly awful right now. So uh, ask away. My cat woke up and looked at my phone. Nice. Nice. What brand of microphone? It's a Hollyfield C1, I think. Nine years sober. Heck yes, Jamie. Good for you. Thank you, Sean. No monkey bread for Katie? No. It also wouldn't be that good by the time we got back to her. This monkey bread in particular is like excellent right out of the fryer or oven, I guess. What time am I streaming tomorrow? 5 p.m. tomorrow, 5 p.m. tomorrow. Um, I'll enter tutorial eventually, we'll get there. Sending love from Utah, oh, thank you, Kate. Um, my toddler is waving and saying hi. What's your toddler's name, Kelly? I'll say their name. I'll say their name back and it'll blow their mind. It'll blow their mind. Do I see my girlfriend often? She's not technically my girlfriend, but yes, I do see her often. Usually once or twice a week. Um, usually. I haven't seen her since last week, but uh, yeah, sometimes more than that. Just depends. 5 p.m. my time. Yes, Pacific time. Thank you, Ray. Sending love from New Orleans. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Ollie. <laughs> Much appreciated. Uh, Am I straight? No, I'm not straight. Is Katie sober too? No, she's not. Uh, but she's also like not, substances aren't a really big part of her life in general. Like, I don't need someone that I date to be sober. It's helpful, but um, oh, it's fine if they are, if they want like a drink or two at dinner, fine. If they want to like, in their own time when I'm not around, partake in the thing that's legal in California, you know what I'm saying? They can do that, no problem. I just don't want to be there. Um, now, if they do it all the time, and the only time they don't do it is when I'm there, that's a problem. That's someone I'm not interested in dating, but that's not the case for her. Um, she's, she's relatively like moderate on her use and doesn't have an issue with it. I, of course, do have issues with it, which is why I don't do it. I know myself too well. Thank you, Vixen. Hello from Melbourne, Melbourne, Australia. Um, before my transition, did I consider myself straight? Technically, yes, but I was wrong because I actually was a woman and very gay. <laughs> so I thought I was, but I was not. Never was. Um, okay, let's see. Someone else sent a very nice Venmo. I think we're going to head out of here pretty soon. Oh, I missed like three of them. Maria sent $2. Thank you, Maria. Thank you so much. Maria sent $2. No subject line. Thank you so much, Maria. Cisgender just means birth gender. Uh, thank you so much. Um, you yes, I would love to close out. Oof. I'll get to your question in just a second. Not you. Are you me? Oh, no, you're totally fine. How's uh, everything going in there? It's good. Cool. Um, 
Yeah. So someone asks, is, is cisgender your birth gender? It's not quite the right way of wording it. You're on the right track, but um, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, Cammy. Have a great night. Um, as I was saying, when you're born, you're assigned a gender at birth, okay? Oh, is he about to jump out? He's going to try to jump out. You're assigned a gender, right? I was assigned male at birth because of my body parts. Usually they get it right. Usually they're right, but not always. Um, because the thing that is the, the core concept about being trans that upsets the most people when I say it is your body parts do not determine your gender. And your gender is not impacted by your body parts. The reason we assign a gender at birth is just to make things a little bit easier, right? Because we know that usually when someone has the parts that I have, they're a boy. Usually, but not always, right? Sometimes someone who has my body parts is actually a girl, born a girl, right? So um, when you ask, is cis your birth gender? It's the gender you're, it's, Cisgender refers to the gender you were assigned at birth and if you are it or not, right? So like I was assigned male at birth. If you're someone who's assigned male at birth and you are male, that makes you a cisgender male. If you're someone who's assigned female at birth and you are female, you're a cisgender female versus someone who, if you're like me, assigned male at birth, but actually a woman, that makes you a transgender woman, right? Because the gender you were assigned at birth is not the one you are. This is the one that, this is the thing that really upset. You can see all of the hate in the comments. This is the core concept that transphobes are unwilling to accept, which is kind of wild because it's not really a very difficult concept. Um, and I think, I think transphobes think that interpreted as the, it being taken something that's taken from them or a way that things exist in the world they're unwilling to accept um regardless that is what cis means right how you relate to the gender you're assigned at birth either you're trans or you're cis you can't be anything else there is no one who is not one of those things either you are trans or you are cis i am trans if you're not trans, you are cis. Period. Period. All right, I get it. Okay, let's box up. Nugget is on one today. Thank you, Miranda. I don't want to hear any of the don't call me sis. You're disrespecting me by calling me. The there is no, I, I'm not, I'm not, we're not playing the game anymore, y'all. You're either, if, if you don't want to be called cis, that means you're trans. There is no, I'm neither. You are one or the other. Um, that's like saying, I'm neither left or right-handed. I'm neither. Yes, you are. You use either your left or your right hand. Uh, what about non-binary? Non-binary people are trans under the trans umbrella. So non-binary people are trans. Uh, you're, you're either one or the other. You're either trans or you're cis. And you can't be neither. <laughs> That's like saying, don't call me someone with a body. I don't have a body. It's like, no, you do. And it's like, D respect my right to s that I don't think I have a body. Like, you have a body. You are, you're either trans or you're cis. You're not something else. And you're not neither. That's it. Nugget? I don't know what has gotten into you today, my dude. I don't know if I don't know if you are feeling more entitled for some reason, like you deserve to have all of the attentions in the world. You do, but not right now. We're talking to a bunch of people, but they love you so much, but you're scratching at my belly and it's kind of stimulating me in a way that is too much. I want you to be close to me. I don't want to have to zip up your stroller. I love you so much. Please stop being so annoying. You've gotten pizza. You've been fed today. You've had plenty of water. We're about to go on a walk as soon as we're done here. And you don't speak English, do you? 
Do you not speak English? You speak doglish. Oh, that's why. Okay, fine. Come here. Doglish. Doglish. Who knew? Who knew? It would have been so much easier if I had just known that he didn't speak English this whole time. Nugster just doesn't want to understand, right? That's what I'm saying. There we go. Okay, bud. Want a little bit more water? Nugget's got the spotlight. He's happy again. This is, uh, yeah, every time I explain the word cis, people get so upset because it is, it is the absolute core thing that people are unwilling to accept about trans people. It is the, the most, the most core of the issue you can get is when you talk about what cis means. Like there's like, in every issue, there's the core and then there's like branching issues, right? A branching issue, example of that would be like, trans people not having access to healthcare or trans people um, getting assaulted in the streets or um, you know anything of, like that. That's like something about trans people, but all comes back to the fact that people don't accept that trans people are valid, right? That it's impossible, that cisgender isn't a thing because it's just, cis is just normal, right? That's the thing. Nugget, do, stop. You are a needy dog today. No, no, Nick. You're on one today. This is going to make me think twice before bringing you on more streams. You understand this. You, you kind of make an, you kind of making a fool of yourself today, but you're usually very, very well behaved, but not today. And I'm sorry to tell you, but I, I can't, I can't, I can't be babysitting you during the stream, my friend. And I don't want to leave you at home. Okay. There it is. All right. Um, my friends, I love you so much. Um, I am going to head out for the day. Thank you to everyone who contributed to the stream. Let me triple check. There are no other gifts before I go. Oh, there are a couple. Coco. Coco. Coco sent a dollar, said, forgot to change the name, but yes, more coming. I'm not sure what that's in reference to. Thank you. Uh, Amanda sent $5. Amanda E. Oh. Amanda said, hi, Lily. New fan here. You are absolutely beautiful and so funny. Thank you. I'm from Maine. Have you ever had Maine lobster or been here to experience our dining seat scene? I've heard it's highly rated. Um, have I been to Maine briefly for a wedding, but I didn't eat any food that was like not wedding food and certainly not lobster. I have had lobster before, I think from Maine and I don't really like lobster. I don't like cracking the shells and I think the meat is overrated. No offense to lobster, but uh, it's just not my thing. Anyways, thank you for watching and thank you for the gift. Jancy! Jancy. Jancy, you there? I know Jancy's here. I love Jancy. Jancy's the best. Jancy G, Jancy Pants is their username, I think. Jancy said, sent $15. Wow. $15 and said, hope you've been having a great week, Lily, with three vibrating pink heart emojis. $15. Thank you so much, Jancy. Jancy is awesome. I don't even know if Jancy's, is Jancy in the Discord? They might not be. If they are, I don't know if I've seen their username. Jancy, you really should join the Discord if you're not already. And I know you can, I'm pretty sure you're subscribed. Um, we love you very much, Jancy. Thank you so much. And thank you, Short Vance. Um, wow, 15 is a lot of money. Y'all, I couldn't do this without you. True, Nugget. Your breath stank and I'm over your behavior today. Um, thank you everyone who contributed to this stream. Um, I will be back tomorrow uh, at around 5 p.m. Pacific time for a stream with our friend Kathy at Epic Steak. Uh, Kathy will be around for the first like 40 minutes or so. And then we'll, um, we'll eat, we'll stick, keep on from then. Thank you, Fiona. I love you too. By the way, I, I was talking to Mac and Ollie today and your name came up. I know you know why. Um, and I, I want you to know that I love you very much and thank you for everything you do. Um, Anyways, thank you to everyone. Um, thank you to my mods. The viewers are still weirdly high. I'm starting to think that we might even out a little bit, but we might have a new like higher threshold in general. It's possible. 
we'll see, I think by the end of this week, we'll have a better idea what our new normal is. Um, either way, thank you very much. Thank you to everyone. Um, I'm letting my phone refresh one more time or my, my watch refresh one more time. It's like, I don't want to refresh. Well, well, that's too dang bad. I'm tired of this grandpa. Well, that's too dang bad. Good movie. Holes. It's good. Um, all right. It says checking for mail. I don't think I've seen anything come through since Jancy. So if you sent something since Jancy and I'm not seeing it, I do apologize. Um, I'll read it on the next one. Thank you, CW. That's too damn bad. Stanley Yelnats. That's a good one. I always like love the imagery of them like eating onions. That's fun. Uh, okay, cool. I'm going to take Nugget on a walk and go see Katie. Is there anything else I want to talk about? Go join the Patreon. If you haven't joined the Patreon yet, it's five bucks a month. You can join the Discord. We have our first ever trivia night a week from tonight. Actually... Yeah, almost exactly a week from tonight because in seven days exactly, we'll be 40 minutes away, 45 minutes away. It's at 5 p.m. Pacific time next Wednesday. Um, you can just show up. Um, I think probably Ollie and Mackenzie have uh, already figured out a better mechanism of getting people signed up. But basically, you sign up for the Patreon. It's five bucks a month and you can join the Discord or you can join the Discord after subscribing on TikTok. Uh, Patreon is patreon.com slash lilitino. Uh, L-I-L-L-Y-T-I-N-O. It's like my username, just no underscore. And yeah, it's great. We have a great community. Um, I have a lot of friends in the Lily's Lovelies community. And yeah, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to eat filet mignon tomorrow. So get excited. I love y'all. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, stay with me. Want to stay with me? I'll wait for someone to see it and then I'll I'll wait for someone to say it and then I'll say it. It's my it's my new sign off thing. I'm trying to make it a thing. Someone's going to say it. Someone's going to say it. I'm wait, I'm waiting. Oh, maybe not. There it is. More Megan Clark said it. Stay lovely, baby. Stay lovely.